Hey guys, welcome to the first video of my channel and in this channel I'm talking all about game tutorial with Unity programming and making different games with Unity. So today we are going to install Unity. So we're going to start everything by installing Unity. So we're going to go to Unity website and we're going to install it. Unity Hub. I'm going to install it with Unity. Alright, so let's begin. The first I'm going to do I'm going to open up Google Chrome. We're going to use for it. So let me open it up for you guys to see it. And this is Unity's website. You can find it down in the description. So in the website, I'm going to go to this contact photo right here. Click on it. Try to create the Unity ID or sign. I have a like, I have an account already, so I'll sign it. But if you have done that already you can skip this side right now don't want the time where you can continue to show on the screen and click on sign in wait to load now yes and now you can either write your email and your password right here but the best thing i like to do is to sign in with google so when i sign with google it will it will just, um, just by clicking a button it will do so you click with sign in with google Okay, so I can just click on my email address right there and click on it. I'm going to continue right now. So it's loading now. So if you wait for some time, let me refresh it now. Let me refresh it again. So when you have done that, it's going to show your name, your first and last name. That was going to call. So any name you use in Google, that's going to show there. So when you have done that, you can click now on get started. You can click here or there. And going to take you to the important place in Unity, which is um, downloading and getting ready to start with it. So this is the individual and business bar. If you're an indie gamer out there, you can try the Unity Plus or Unity Pro for you to use and expand your life or to expand your game design organization so it gives you the tool for you to increase whatever you are to do or you want to do or if you're like or if you're like me that want to start out and um, with unity you can just click on individual so you can now click get started start creating with the free version of it i'm going to click get started right now so going to you just like your your now you want to start with Unity and it will load a new page saying start creating Unity first time users and returning users and then click download and we'll click on the first time users since we are using it new download Unity with the with this all right so when you cancel it I will move down to my file explorer let me go right let me go there right now. Okay, so let me move to the downloads to where I installed it. Then see it right here. So when I double click on it, it will show up for me to um, to install. So let me show this thing for me to install it right now. Let me click I agree and I agree and then for me to install. So I already have this I will not install. I'm going to click cancel. Alright, so now that I've done that, we are going to open up Unity Hub for us to start using. So, the person I have right here is Unity 2.3.1. And to end this video, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on installs. I'm going to click on installs. And right there, I have Unity 2020.1.ob2 and 2090.3.086. So, I'm going to click add. You want to do a new version of it? Any version you have to click add to do a new version of it. Okay, so I'm going to go to Unity 2020.2.0a9. Click next. 
then I want to do the Android boost. I want to make games for Android weekly. Next. So we're gonna click I have agreed with the terms of controlling shows for Android SDK. 